Yeah, yeah good day. It's uh, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike on the side. Could I have a very quick radio check? It's ZL2 CTM calling QRP. Just looking for a radio check over. Uh, Roger, Roger, ZL2 LE, ZL2 Charlie Tinger Mike. Hey, that's great, thanks so much. Um, transmitting very low power here, probably just uh, three watts or so into a little home brew rig. So uh, this is the very first contact. So thank you very much, and uh, just uh, wanted to get a quick update on um, how it was how it was sounding. So um, so that's good. So um, ZL2 LE, ZL2 CTM. Yeah, ZL3 LE back to ZL. Oh, three. That's good. And name this way is Boyd, boss of Nasty Yankee Delta. And uh, no, you're cutting a mustard there. And That's for the time of the day, you're uh, doing all right. I take it you're, you're, uh, you're somewhere in, in Wellington, or have we worked before? You've made quite a few small rigs over. Huh. Yeah, ZL3LE, ZL2CTM. Yes, that's right, Boyd. Uh, you and I have uh, talked a few times, and um, I have a funny feeling that you've been my first contact on a number of rigs. So uh, thank you very much for that. This particular one here is based on a, um, a Teensy microcontroller, so it's actually a software-defined radio using the phasing technique. So uh, it's got a hardware front end which is presenting the... Uh, I and Q audio to the microcontroller and, and all the rest is in maths um, and then uh, the reverse on transmit so it's been quite an interesting little exercise actually just sort of looking at the weaver method uh, as well as the phasing but uh, no it's working really well so I'm, I'm really pleased um, I think I might do some more work on the power amplifier this is just uh, one I, I threw together out of the junk box so um, it's it's not overly high power, but uh, enough to get on the air and to, to see how it sounds. So anyway, um, I know you wanted to go, so I'll just say thank you very much again for uh, for coming back and just giving that radio check. Um, and if you're wondering what this one particularly looks like, if you look up the QRZ page for me, so ZL2CTM, uh, the top of that page has the current rig, so you'll see what it looks like. But anyway, ZL3LE, ZL2CTM, thanks again. Okay, so I've just uh, just finished the first part there, so I didn't drag on too much. Um, so that's really good. I'm really pleased about that. So um, it's good to see that the radio is um, getting out uh, nice and clearly uh, and, and, and readable, which is fantastic. So um, uh, really pleased about that. Uh, so the the, uh, the power amplifier there was just using a um, an old commercial uh, PA there from a low power um, radio, which I had lying around, and uh, just added in a um, a small pre-driver there, you might recognize that from a few builds back, that was an IF amplifier uh, using the, uh, the 2N3904, you know the back was a, um, a 2053 um, pre-driver for the, for the main amplifier here. The only other addition was a, uh, a low pass filter there, that's a, a fifth order, so there's one, two, three, four, five active components, a fifth order Chevy Chev uh, with a cutoff frequency of 4 megahertz, so in other words uh, tuned for the 80 meter band. Um, I hardwired that in um, as opposed to, for example, the bandpass filter over here, which is uh, pluggable. Um, I did that just to, to do that sort of test tonight, just to make sure that the radio was getting out. Uh, moving down track, I'll, I'll sort of slowly work on this in parallel with the next build. Uh, and I, I want to reorganize this. It's, it's a little bit messy, but it was certainly good for from a test point of view. Um, and I'll look at do some automatic switching and the like. So I guess so. some final thoughts on how this particular build went. Um, so sort of starting from right to left, uh, the Teensy itself, um, no problems there, that was good. The 3.5 worked well. Uh, I think in the end I, I don't have any noise at all coming from the rotary encoder. That's, that's all gone, which is nice. Um, I think this arrangement here worked well in terms of feeding the I and the Q audio into the circuit from the two SBL1s uh, and that very simple uh, RF splitter there, that certainly worked well with the 100 ohm over the um, over the secondary, uh, that was good and certainly really pleased with the uh, the SI5351 providing those uh, two quadrature clock signals um, into that mixer, so that's all the local oscillator so to speak into that 
uh, into those two mixes. I think that worked really well. So thank you for, for the help there on that one. Um, that's good, and I'll certainly use that in future builds. Um, uh, other than that, uh, I'd probably look to rebuild this, this amplifier here and, and use my own design as opposed to uh, a commercial rig there. But like I say, that was just really to get the rig on the air and up and running. Other than that, I don't actually have too much else to uh, to pass on really or to, to say. Um, from a from a hardware point of view, uh, certainly simple, uh, not complex at all, um, and really for for the simplicity works really well. So I'm certainly pleased about that. Um, just debating now if I want to sort of compact this down to a a much smaller build, or leave it on the board uh, and use it as a a bit of a test bed for SDR. Um, which is probably what I might do actually um, as I think about other modes um, It's just a matter of just plugging in the the cable and doing some more programming So it's probably what I'll do at this stage of the game um, Other than that, I don't have too much else to say um, I'll put another video up in the next couple of days talking about some ideas for what I want to do with the next build which will be leveraging off this one um, and some other feedback uh, that came in through the blog um, so hopefully, I'm actually quite interested in that one actually, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it. So like I say, I won't say anything more in this particular video and I'll, I'll put another one up on that. Right, I won't uh, labour this any longer, I'm starting to ramble now. I'll say 73s, uh, and like I say, really pleased with how this turned out. Okay, cheers all, and we'll talk to you soon.